pesticides are designed to kill living things. My name is Gina Solomon. I'm a medical doctor and a senior scientist at the Natural Resources Defense Council. The Hunts live in a uh, neighborhood of single family detached homes and on the property line between their home and their neighbor there's a hedge. William got out at 12 o'clock. He came up his route. He saw the neighbor spraying the hedge along the property line. The whole side area was wet and his bicycle was wet and the whole side of the house was wet. It turned out ultimately that the neighbor was spraying a, a perfectly legal garden fungicide that unfortunately can have toxic side effects. The last application was just so heavy. The windows were white. Downstairs it was heavy. The foliage, it was just thick gobs of it. William's bedroom windows were just blanketed. Their bicycles were blanketed. The next day, young William um, noticed that he was developing a rash on his arm, on his back, and also had this nasty feeling in the back of his throat. Three weeks after that, William came walking up to the side. He sat on the bench and sort of just leaned over, looking really uncomfortable. I asked my husband, I said, look, paramedics are just down the hill. Let's just stop off there, just make sure. So I went in and they were wheeling him into the ambulance. They had taken his heart rate and it was just racing. It was at 244 beats per minute. As a physician, I wonder whether this young boy's heart problems are related to the pesticide exposure. In fact, heart effects, cardiotoxicity, are really not assessed when pesticides are tested for toxicity. Most people think that if they go to the store and there's a product on the shelf, that it's been tested by a government agency and it's been found to be safe. For most products, that is actually not the case. I wonder what the, the possibility of that high level of exposure has on, had on his body, the long-term effects. Even a family that doesn't use pesticides in their own home can be inadvertently exposed to chemical residues because of chemicals that are used by their neighbors or by the city or the school. These chemicals are very widespread in our environment. There's an alternative. Integrated pest management first diagnoses the problem and identifies whether there really is a pest and what pest it is. And then they pick the least toxic way of eliminating that pest. Green Shield Certified is a third-party label, just like the organic label, that identifies pest control companies that control pests without the toxic chemicals, but in a way that will get rid of the pests. People are going to think twice about what they're using if they know that there's going to be a consequence to it so that you can go in there and, and, and not think, I'm contaminating myself.